All right, so today I'm going to show you how you can uh, install TWRP recovery on your device and root your device uh, and that device being Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. Uh, first of all, there are some necessary steps that you need to follow in order to flash any kind of, uh, of recovery or ROM or anything because the system of the S7 Edge or newer Samsung devices and Android versions do interrupt while you're doing those steps. So first of all, you need to go to your device you need to go to settings from settings I'm actually on a ROM right now but uh, you need to go to about device then here or maybe in about phone you just need to find the bill number of the device once you find it you need to keep pressing it until it says that you are a developer once you have the developer options enabled uh, mine doesn't say anything right now because I am rooted and I have a ROM here but there will be an option called OA, OEM unlocking you need to enable that option so once you enable that option now you can go to now you can actually turn your phone off and put it into download mode which is by pressing the power the volume down and the home button the combination of three buttons should appear a uh, blue screen should appear all right so once you get this screen press the volume up button and you will be in download mode and as you can see here it says FRP lock is off make sure it is off so once you once you do that connect your USB cable don't leave just yet because there are some steps you need to double check before uh, flashing the recovery itself so once you download the recovery file from the description and the super su file first you need the recovery file so as you can see i have there will be Auden in the uh, in the description down below as well so Auden and uh, twrp files are here so these two files so you need to extract uh, Auden and then open Auden once you open Arden, go to AP and select the TWRP file from here. But don't flash it. Go to Options and click Auto Reboot. Because if you don't click Auto Reboot, the device actually restarts and there's an encryption mode enabled. There will be a link down below if you face that issue where you are facing the encryption issue where it is saying telling you to reset your device. I have a fix down below. You can watch that video and you will be able to uh, fix that issue if you actually don't uh, screw this part up but you need to click uncheck auto reboot once you uncheck auto reboot flash the recovery and the phone will now reboot so once you have flashed the file because I'm actually on TWRP right now as I mentioned uh, before I'm actually rooted and I have custom recovery installed on my device so so once your recovery is flashed from download mode to the recovery mode, you cannot just directly go there. What you need to do is you need to press volume down and power button for a few seconds until the screen goes black. Once it goes black, you need to immediately press the volume up, the power button and the home button. Leave the power button and keep pressing the volume up and the home button and you will be in the uh, custom recovery you just flashed and as I mentioned you do need to take care of these um, steps because if you don't you will screw this up and you might lose all of your data like I did because I was unaware of the uh, security issues because I've, I've been using other stock Android phones that I have not used a, um, a Samsung phone from a long time so go to install and locate the file where you have downloaded if you have downloaded the super su file on your device it will be in your download folder or you know wherever you place the file so once you uh, locate the file press it swipe to confirm it will flash the uh, root uh, file and once you uh, file the root well flash the root file you will root your device and hopefully the root will work so uh, as I mentioned before there is an issue of people face when they don't uh, uncheck the auto reboot issue the phone reboots after 
flashing anything and uh, the phone is stuck in encryption mode where you cannot access the phone and it tells you to reset in some cases you're not even able to press the reset button so there will be a fix in the description down below if you uh, if you want to check that out and again thank you for watching have a great day